I don't think I buy this. I, I don't think he buys it. <laughs> Walk the path. Oh shit, he buys it. Yeet. You're dumb as a box of rocks, you How's it going people? Jack here with another video. So I've just been done watching and editing a video on a topic that was both heart-wrecking, sad and kind of thought-provoking. So I kind of just needed something to like jolt my ha-ha uh, <laughs> motor within me. I don't know where I was going with that one. I was trying to do some clever wordplay but didn't pan out well. Oh, Listen. Tonight I'm watching a video by the Russian Badger on Far Cry 5 aka How to live to the life of an American <laughs> On the countryside that is Like most YouTubers I think that I'm gonna need an ammo Perhaps being like on the countryside is going to be mine No, I'm not good at doing country accents God damn it Aunt Jolene, I'm gonna need you to move the burning crosses from your truck <laughs> No, but Far Cry 5 was truly an amazing game. And while it did not by any means revolutionize the Ubisoft machine, for it is a unique one, it never changes, they just keep on recycling the same thing over and over, it did at least change the trope of having to go outside, fighting against some terrorists in foreign countries and bringing it to the US. That is crazy. Just aside from Sensual 4, I think that this is actually the most patriotic game that you can play. But with that said though, let's just check what the Russian Badger has to say about And then that dumbass teacher lady started talking about how AR-15 should be banned. So I told her to shut her common mouth before Hey! This is private property, you damn liberals! Do I ever love living in a standard ground state? I tell you what, cheeseburger, God bless America. <laughs> to the ha. Uh, what's well, good song? Spoiler alert! This is your spoiler alert. So don't oh, say that I bloody bright. Far Cry Five. You human son of a bitch. The story of a lone deputy trying to take down a crusading madman in his cult, all the while surviving ravenous wildlife and enjoying the fresh mountain air of Big Sky Montana. Montana. I really like this Montana wilderness. I really can just connect with the outdoors and not worry about people. I'm begging you. Shut the. <laughs> I was just talking to. Why, why did you- So this dipshit <laughs> pastor by the name of Joseph Seed has commandeered a giant chunk of Montana called Hope oh, County Oh, he man, he's baggy. ...followers and has completely cut it off from the outside world. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Wait, 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 wait. Couldn't you have just said that first? What, what was fun about this guy, right? He made one of the- like most clever joke in the entire franchise of Far Cry. Like right after you get out of the bunker, he sends you off to clear off the first tower. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it ain't gonna be a thing within the game, but like, don't worry about it. I know what you're thinking, and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me. So don't worry. Why, why did you have to say all that other stuff? Do you, wanna, do you wanna do that over again? You know what that shit means? It means we're all but. fucked. Thank you for not wasting my time. And it's up to you to crush this maniac's operation by offing three of his siblings and curb stomping anybody that's a member of his congregation oh. called Project Eden's Gate. John C. The locals call them Peggy's. Fucking Peggy's. Formally, you're supposed to achieve this by freeing local civilians, destroying cult property, liberating cult outposts, and completing story missions, all in an effort to build a resistance. We need to build us a resistance. What that actually means is you just got as much mayhem as possible. A nuisance to ignore, the cult kidnaps you, the plot progresses, and you fight your way out so that you can fuck up even more shit and oh, continue the being the hard charge and well. beer drinking this one. truck driving Crazy. sinner that you are. So I hear this goddamn Obama wants to ban <laughs> flavor. Dips and I'm like flavor dips. <laughs> Bannon in my United States. Like I need your dumbass tooltip. Bannon flavor dips <laughs> in my here United States of America. Fuck. <laughs> but before you can knock off this Bradley Cooper Johnny Depp looking passer, you've got three of his siblings and corresponding regions to squash first. With Jacob to the north, John to the west, Faith to the east, and you can do them in any order because. Oh my God! I always started with John. I cleared the game I think twice and. John is the funniest. He's basically the meme with um, M. Bison of yes. yes. He's essentially defeating DMC with the uh, green check emoji. 
because they each play a different role, but they all have the same goal. Souls do not harvest themselves. Actually, I was gonna light this on fire, but that's pretty sad advice. Uh, here it. it is again. Souls do not harvest themselves. Can't you read the sign? There you go. Oh, this is I started with Faith, the Walter White of the operation, because oh, she yeah. produces mass amounts of this drug Crazy called weed. Bliss, which I can only describe as hyper oh, acid speed meth that makes you trip balls to the point where you can't tell if anything around you is real or just an illusion. Oh, you thought that was, was a bear? Cool Sight thinner, you thought. It's actually a bison. You think that's a junkie? Nope, it's a dog. Is that a cougar? Narp, it's a pronghorn. I'm gonna take a gamble and say that you're not real. You're made of, like, pixie dust or something, so... Our survey says... Bam. Pixie dust. There we go. Wanna be a hero? Not really. Whoa. Whoa, Wolverine. <laughs> take, take, take it easy. Did you just see that woman disappear? <laughs> Did he escape dust? Canada? <laughs> I don't care. So I gotta admit, I didn't really like her character that much. It was kind of just, I was bullied once, so that oh, makes yeah, my that's drug true. addiction okay. Weird. Who once was a young woman. Cleaning that up. Who had been ostracized by her community. And therefore, I took control of the entire community. Oh god, this is not gonna be another bully hunters thing, is it? Let me skip this. But yeah, that's the abuse as well. But she's probably the funniest sibling, because some of these hallucinations in the bliss are just, I don't know what the... Fuck is going on, man? But I'm okay with it. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. <laughs> this idiot, he did the yeet of faith off the statue of Joseph's seed. I can't even remember. Did he survive this? I don't think he did. I think he died after that. I don't. I don't think I buy this. <laughs> I, I don't think he buys it. <laughs> Walk the path. Oh shit, he buys it. Yeet. You're dumb as a box of rocks, you <laughs> It was in her region that I learned the ins and outs of the wildlife which livens up the wilderness because there's oh, always something running around so that's good. either trying to eat you or drop you some high quality loot. Cougar, don't make me do this. All right, meet technology. Yeah, that's scary. Run away, you big dumb cat. Oh, it's a skunk. I thought it was a raccoon. I was yeah, like, Yeah, you can die off the stage. Spray things at you. I I can't even tell if I'm being poisoned or I'm tripping off this. But it's much more than just lighting a bunch of bees and bears on fire because animal skins sell for so much cash, it's like the game forces you to become a poacher. I'm sorry, buddy. This hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm really out of bullets. I would not be doing it this way otherwise, but he's sick. I've heard of cases where it's illegal to, well, I, I, I would assume it is, to, to kill bears, even in self-defense. Oh, check this out. The US Fish and Wildlife Service is investigating the incident. Grizzly bears are listed as an endangered species in the continental US Montana law. However, says it's legal to kill a grizzly in self-defense. Oh, or if the bear is attacking livestock, according to Montana Free Press. So, oh no, it's okay. You can murder a bear. But you just really need a very good excuse. Have you ever been stuck in the state of Montana having to fight against biblical cultists, psychedelic bisons, all the while being dead inside? That is how it feels to drive a Ford F-250. Ford. <laughs> Cogs are not cheap, man. Like, I don't think you understand how outrageous these prices are. There we go, thank you. You can even use the meat from prey animals to lure out bigger predators that are the most valuable. And I never thought I'd say this about a tool, but this baiting technique is almost too good. Okay, so what if uh, I- the what Ubisoft if I throw it out system. Right in front of the system. Yeah, it's like, pretty bad. Right here? They never fixed oh, it. Oh shit, that works- I didn't think it would be that easy. I thought it was like, wait around for five minutes. He's right here, immediately. Nope. Yo, let me try throwing it right near these randos to see if he'll ignore the bait and go for them. No way. No way, Ubisoft. You don't just spot a bear out of thin air on the- Come on, buddy. Come on down, buddy. Keep Why rolling. is he chasing the Keep bear? Keep rolling down the hill. This bait is so fair. I don't Why think you is, oh, understand. Is so such a such a fair technique of hunting wolves. Wolverine! Clearly, clearly balanced. The fuck, Wolverine? Why are you here? Before you call me a bad person for exterminating wildlife to buy a bunch of fancy guns, rest assured that I spent none of it on outfits because I used the castle skin from Rainbow Six, even though <laughs> I'm white, which I guess in a weird way would make me into some kind of white castle sinner. You know, I gotta say, I ain't even mad. Like, look at this. 
They got my broad shoulders right. I look fucking yoked. The lighting is perfect. What else could I ask for? Better buckle up there, Peggy's. There's a God new sinner in town. Her. Actually, am I a heretic or am I- Kill that heretic! Kill the sinner! Is there a difference between a heretic and a sinner? Yeah, just look yeah. at this heretic. He looks like he could headbutt a rock and the rock would start <laughs> crying. On the topic of headbutting, I'd really like to give the store owners in this game a concussion given how high their prices are, but you can't just pull a fallout by selling them your loot, immediately murdering them, and then taking it back. So you either have to pony up the dough or find gear through the story mode. You know, yeah. I can teach you a life lesson if you're interested. What, like how to price gouge? Shoot you. Fuck you. Is she just gonna leave this cash on her counter? Yeah, it's up for grabs. Yoink. Are you just- nice job at the jail, Are buddy. you just gonna <laughs> let me get away with this? You just don't even care? I get. I guess not. Okay, welcome to Montana. Then I moved on to John in the West, who's in charge of resources slash torture slash motivational speeches, and he's basically Daniel Bryan out of WWE. <laughs> yes! 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 The power of yes. Yes! Yes! No. Yes! Yes! Um, Ice Man! Yes! No. Yes! Is he as fun as Faith? No. So who wants to go first? Not me. Hmm? Which one? Oh, it's nope. great. Someone's the rage. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I'm, I'm hitting you with a no. That's, we'll that, that, that's a no. That, that was a fun thing because there are a lot of those psychological aspects within this game where, like, the characters, you can truly see what drove them to their upbringings to get to the stage where they are in. And also, like, of course, their namesake, John, John the Baptist. A no for me, dog. That's that's gonna be a no for me, dog. No. You regret this. No. <laughs> no. Does he say yes? Me. Yes. Say yes. All right, we out here. It's I am the cowboy who yeah. says knee. <laughs> Is he the easiest sibling to kill? Yeah. Maybe. You can snipe his plane. Yes, actually, yes. You don't care? <laughs> no! I said no one time. What's the big deal? May God have mercy on your soul. I beat Faith in like six hours, and I beat John in like two. And I'm pretty sure it's because I finally mastered the gunplay. Let's try that again. And <laughs> bang. Oh, you can collateral. I did not know Ooh. that. Speak of the devil, you damn Peggies! In a typical <laughs> binary fashion, there's two combat categories that I like to call stealth. So I've learned you can cheese it pretty easily if you just spot everybody with your binoculars here, and then you can just fuck. <laughs> still got him, still undetected. Mission accomplished. And a completely separate, unrelated category that I call stealth. Right. I got it, I got it. Remain calm, fellas. Remain calm. I'm a trained professional. Oh, the sounds and the weapons in Subtlety's there. Subtlety's my specialty, all right? Going all Sam Fisher stealth mode makes everything easier and faster because getting detected turns a three-minute job into a ten-minute job when enemies call reinforcements, but you guys know that I don't mind making things harder if it means that I get to blow shit up. Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? The Lord giveth. And the, the Lord, Lord take it away. Take it away. I call this one a Bible thump. You can suppress <laughs> almost anything in the game, so I ran around with a DMR and a 50 cal because the ARs and submachine guns feel like pea shooters with unjustifiable recoil. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's play the game called Why You Shouldn't Have Your Firing Squad in the Middle of a Field. What did we learn? Just rest assured that there's no shortage of weaponry to make Montana a living hell for everybody but oh, you. Like there's a truck with flame throwers. Eh? Remote C4 RPGs. What is the truck? Classic stick of dynamite. This may be the first time this has ever been said in the state of Montana, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The further you progress in the game, the cooler the shit you unlock, and some things are deadlier than you'd expect. I'm Fucking looking Davy at you, Crockett. legendary slingshot. <laughs> Good, bro. Oh, hurt. Thanks, Herc. You think that scares me after what I've been through? <laughs> Dude, it might. Oh, oh, God. oh, it's the one you get from Jacob. Yeah, See? I have to remember who See? that was. See? Jacob was the last sibling that I murdered, and I was pleasantly surprised that his sequence reminded me of the sunken place from Get Out. Only instead of floating in a purgatory, you're completing the CQB test. That's a good comparison. 
like, oh man, what a crazy veteran he is. Like, like he was using those dog whistles, pretty much like conditioning you to just shoot to kill at everything that moved. Like, that would be your first reflex. That was scary. That's from COD 4. This is arguably trippier than everything else earlier with Faith. I'm just half expecting Gaz to just pop out of nowhere and say, Nice, your fruit killing skills are remarkable. <laughs> you know, one of those ex-military dudes that constantly talks about being alpha when really they're just psychotic and they can't adjust Welcome to, to the Manosphere. Setting? That's Jacob. If you play the game after watching this video, start with this region because it has the best companions in the entire game. And we're not just talking, Oh, look, now you get a dog. No, 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 no. We're talking about a uh, fucking bear named Cheeseburger. With diabetes. Cheeseburger. Bit of a local celebrity, actually. Had a soft spot for Chad's barbecue. But he got the diabetes. So we put him on a liquid salmon diet. <laughs> if I were to tell you everything that I love about Cheeseburger, this video would be an hour long. Just know that he's the deadliest, cuddliest sidekick ever that somehow remains stealthy. Like enemies yeah. don't question why a huge ass bear is running around, and that's only a drop in the bucket in terms of his utility. Hey, Cheeseburger, get in the car, you fat shit. I love you. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, shit. So <laughs> I swap my ENF keys. Don't eat me. In the blue corner, we have a six foot. No, 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 no. If, if you don't want to fight, you're disqualified. <laughs> the black bear's like, I am a hater. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I don't know if I would call that a fight, but at least he didn't run away. Want some meat there, Fatality. beef boy. Got some meat for your ass. Nope. No, he actually does not want that at all. Hey, why are you looking at me and smacking your lips like I've got a snack for you? Or, or am I the snack? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not the snack. Outside to Irving with the fadeaway no look J ball. Oh, Ooh. sorry, cheeseburger. Did not mean to do that to you. I will never ever let that happen again. I swear. Okay, I'll admit I'm sorry, <laughs> cheeseburger, but I know you can take it. You're like an 800 pound ball of rubber. <laughs> oh. Please don't uh, eat me, cheese. Animals can raise you. I don't know if I like the dog more or the. Or um, not. I guess he's just gonna revive. Was it the bobcat or I, the cougar? I guess that's how companions work. All the way down he goes. Is nobody gonna attest to that medical miracle? Oh. I really like how every resistance member is always like, oh my god, cheeseburger, when I'm the one liberating their entire county. Yeah. Like, who would be more important? A guy liberating an entire county or from bear with diabetes. And doom or one cheesy boy? I guess it's one cheesy boy. <laughs> but there is one singular human companion that comes close, and his name is Herc Jr. Not to be confused with his dad, Herc Sr. Who it Herc Sr. has the best line in the in the game. Besides the fact of how much he hates liberals, he has some of the best commentary, man. He's awesome. Admittedly, isn't the world's greatest father. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? Why are you supposed That's to be a disappointment? Herc Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. Your son, look at me. You're dumber than a box of shit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Junior, all you proved was that you can't look after shit. He's about as redneck as they come, and I mean that in the best way possible. Not to mention, his specialty is blowing shit up with his Rat 4. He's the most kick ass, salt bitch in all of Montana. Dead ass. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Out of there. You don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine step plan to get in this truck, man. All right. Step one, catch a day buzz off party liquor. Got that one covered. Oh. <laughs> Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we're just shotgunning beers then. Oh, I just remembered. Step three, we take them from the rear, just like my granddaddy did in World War II with all them foreign prostitutes. All right. You see that watchtower? Okay, her up. Junior. It's all about the zipline, man. We gonna zipline in there, sneak up on them like ninjas. <laughs> All right, since we're still in stealth mode. Yes. Yes. 
That's consistent. This is what I love about Herc, is just as I'm about to fire, they already explode. Thankfully, you can have multiple companion slots, so you don't have to choose between Cheeseburger and Herc, because why not both? Now, there are guns for hire that are like generic civilians that yeah, you can as squad mates, but most of them suck and have no character, so I skip them all together. Tyler, why can't you just give me free shit? I'm like the coolest dude in Montana. Also, a combination of the like human NPCs is actually pretty good. Herc and uh, the sniper chick, some of the best. Like, if you think that her, his dad is good at dating him, she does it so much better. Yes. The story yes. missions overall, pretty damn neato. <laughs> like smashing pallets of drugs and getting buzzed off a of bliss, defending a giant cabin while blasting Get Free, crumbling Joseph's giant statue to the ground, retrieving a big rig with a mounted machine gun, eradicating drug fueled animals with RPGs. Count me in. All right. I There's a festival where you have to. Oh, God. It... I, I think I can talk about it. <laughs> The, the bulls where during the maiden season you have to get the bulls i'm dead serious falls Anne's annual testicle festival is a decades old tradition the testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happy it's a weird one i kind of feel like i should not be stealthing this i don't know why i was trying to stealth this for so long because the thumper is going to do this way quicker Unless I just drug myself into my mind, I should be fine. But I don't also want to kill myself with splash damage. Just... Okay, there we go. I can't believe this is a pistol slot, by the way. The thumper is in your pistol slot. Do you think... Do you think it'll go off if I can hit it with a rock? I bet. Oh, that's the thing with the cows! Oh, yeah! I remember oh, it now. No. Oh, that was oh, so bad. Oh, that was so bad. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be cows everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I died like three Am times I in this. To, I, oh, I feel so bad. Now. I didn't realize I what was really, happening. Really bad. <laughs> My heart. However, some missions where the basis was go find five of this or go do 20 of that were just plain stupid. Like you would think Ubisoft would know doing something over Damn. and over and over again is insanity, but I guess not. Did I ever tell you to definitely That is crazy. Insanity. The game can be a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier if you know your way around vehicles. Like it should be no surprise that you can cheese the entire game. <laughs> You can literally park your plane in a tree. It's awesome. Aimed by abusing planes and helicopters. <laughs> but I stuck with cars and ATVs so that I could have that true Montana experience. And I have nothing against tropical islands or the Himalayas, but Montana is the coolest fucking playground ever. Little boys round here, drinking that ice cold beer. Talking about girls, talking about trucks. West Virginia. Mount Mamo. Take me home. Country. <laughs> If you're not a fan of things with motors, the nifty grapple mechanic and wingsuit perk can make cruising around Hope County a breeze. Just be careful about heights, because it doesn't take much to snap your femurs in half. <laughs> yeah. You know, I hate to be one of those people that says I'd rather be doing X, but I'd rather be in an ATV. Like, something just brings me back to ATV Off-Road Fury 2, and I really can't wait to get back on the ground. I'm not gonna outright <laughs> recommend drug usage by taking these consumables, but getting buzzed off a wild turkey, flying around in a wingsuit, and doing dumb shit with a rocket launcher is pretty fun. And there it goes. Oh, Where no. it stops, nobody knows. I'm not a zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna make the barking stop. Probably not a good idea, but seeing as White Castle here is numbed out of his mind, I really want to see for science how many hits with my bare hands it takes to actually kill a bear. 
Huh, funny. Unless, oh, I guess the cheeseburger's just gonna do the heavy lift. Oh! oh. Choke slam! Oh my god! Out of nowhere! <laughs> I'm gonna outright ruin the ending for you, but I definitely didn't like it. It really felt like I was choosing what, the nuclear a shit apocalypse? sandwich and a shit sandwich with a side bowl of shit. But then I thought to myself, Montana was the perfect setting. I enjoyed every second of it. All of the weapons feel and sound outstanding. Reloading mm. and explosions included. There's kick-ass oh. characters and only a handful of times that I oh, yeah, ever felt bored. I was worried I'd get bored. Obama loving lib tires. I hear liberals and Canadians are also pretty clumsy. The AI is straight rarded, which enhanced the experience profusely. Hey, <laughs> hey, get out of the road. I didn't say get in front of my car, you dumb. Am I really gonna let a sour ending ruin all of that greatness? Oh, oh hell no. Especially when it leads to another game that is doo doo. In case you want a little preview though, one of the endings is just Why? Why? <laughs> what? Why? Why? And the other one is basically just What's wrong with you? It's so good that he uses pastas for this. What's wrong with y'all? But you can also Why catch him in the beginning, Mark right? Five is a drug-filled religion fuel and just end the game just like that. I would gladly play again, only this time with more Herc and more cheeseburger. End of story. Wow. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when I get buzzed off of moonshine and make out with my sister. Don't do that. He was a fun one, man. I love this video. He brought the chuckles back. But yeah, uh, people, as always, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you loved it, you know what to do. Hit that like and also subscribe button to see more. Of course, also go and subscribe to the Russian Badger. And uh, if you want some more patriotic content, the next game that I'll be reviewing is Central 4. See you guys in the next one.